Welcome back to Rusky Well Fab. I hope you like my little first of April joke, and a lot of you definitely did get it. But um, if you didn't, it was obviously a joke. Audi TT. That's the one that is going to be a part, make part of the gym ladder. So right now we just need to put it all together, have a suspension components, and we can uh, get it out of here. That's a good one. Always issues. Why do you think I'm uh, making this? Basically, my new Audi TT Jim Connor control arms, lightweight, and. Um, yeah flexible there's no subframe we cannot find the subframe we're supposed to be here but it's not so effectively after bolting the suspension it goes back and forth so we need to stop it moving essentially we need to make the car rolling so that should do the trick so i have two of those this one is ready needs to be bolted in just making a copy and then essentially the front suspension is kind of done put the wheels on and then all we have to do is put the springs on the rear the wheels and in theory we should make this car rolling yeah believe it or not <laughs> that's how we're running it um yeah proper macgyver i guess right what do you think rob about this all ah well you know the wood was a good idea see the wood is always a good idea <laughs> You're probably asking, what the hell is that metal piece? Well, that's our anti-roll bar, Rob, or what? What, what shall that we call this? This is the, yeah, anti, anti-splay bar. <laughs> anti-splay bar. So yeah, because the, the wood is not perfect, we had to put, so, uh, yeah, so. Every girl wants one of those, an anti-splay bar. It's, it's good for, it keeps every dad, every girl's dad wants one of those right well i suspect a little bit of load is being shared by the metal so not all of it's going on the wood <laughs> i mean it works i mean if it works i guess it works i mean to be fair all it needs to make is this journey a couple of meters all to the way to the thing and then it should be fine but yeah it's uh it's a rolling shell effectively Let's um, push it out and uh, load it up. It's a uh, gym ladder. Yeah, thank you. That was a bit of an effort. I mean, the sun is setting down. It was a beautiful day, actually. It's not too hot, so it's comfortable to work in a, in a hoodie. By the way, I will be bringing a new new batch with the uh, logo and stuff like that. So as much as I want to say put pre-orders in, but don't. Um, yeah, it's um, kind of loaded. Kind of, kind of rolling. I mean, look at the rear. <laughs> rear camber is um i mean let me just put it this way every drifter's dream isn't it <laughs> uh, i mean it's rolling right i mean rolling is rolling so it rolled it by itself onto the trailer so now we just have to clear all this up all the tools uh, say thank you to simon and uh take it back the next morning here we are as you can probably guess slightly different day the next morning so now we have to unload this thing because obviously can't really keep it here and uh yeah i have a donor car for the gym ladder uh the engine and gearbox and old drivetrain isn't here inside and that's basically all i need obviously the suspension will be changed obviously the body is kind of irrelevant irrelevant because we're chopping everything off um the car was running and it was obviously i'm not sure actually if it was competing in a time attack i'm not sure if the owner zach uh is going to be watching this video maybe he can comment um <laughs> but <laughs> pretty crazy the camera of the rear wheel um yeah i guess overall i'm really really happy it was uh, dirt cheap because 
effectively it's destined for for the scrapyard so um and i kind of rescued it um yeah so yeah thank you very much for watching this guys and i'll uh, see you in the next episode bye bye